is an hour and welcome to my tutorial for using Pixlr and feathering. So here we go. Um, this is where I got my images from. I'm using a search engine called DuckDuckGo which is a privacy orientated search engine so unlike Google it doesn't track you um, and it doesn't watch what you're doing um, so you're you're a bit more private using this uh, search engine. Anyway, uh, on to Pixlr. This is uh, roughly what I'm aiming to um, to do with you guys. So we've got this dog with this very forlorn expression on his face, blending into this snake. So it's not like an abrupt edge there. Sort of, but it's called feathering. It sort of blends, sort of fades into transparency. And then uh, goes into the lizard's tail. I keep calling it snake, but it's a lizard's tail. Okay, so let's begin. Um, so I'm going to go File New. I'm just going to choose one of these uh, templates. So if I go for Web, and I'm going to call it Dog Reptile. describes roughly what I'm attempting to do here. So create um, and then I'm going to actually I'm going to start off with um, a shape. I'm just going to fill it. Um, let's just do that white although I think it's the other one. Ooh, let's change that to white as well just in case. Anyway so draw a shape so we've got some sort of background colour. Okay, background layer white. <clears throat> and then layer. Add image as layer. And you can't see this but I'm just adding my dog. Open. Okay. The dog is massive. Control minus is zoom out. Although you can use this slider as well. So let's just zoom out a little bit more. Okay, go to my arrange tool. Mm -hmm. Also known as the select tool. Let's just shrink that down a little bit just so he's in my canvas area. Okay, um, you won't see this, but there's a white background on on his uh, layer. Actually, if I just hide this white layer for a sec, hide visible hidden. He's, he's got a white background on it. Okay, so I need to go back to my dog layer. Get off. That's it. Dog layer and use my magic wand um, tolerance is around 30 it doesn't really matter when you're removing one solid colour actually let's just try this for a sec so tolerance 1 so this is one shade of white yep see it's got it because there's only literally one colour one tiny tiny shade of white Press backspace to get rid, and then Control D to stop the fuzzy lines. Ah, let's just zoom back in again for a sec. You see, he's got a white outline around him. It's where there's a, a very slight colour difference in there. So if I do undo for a sec, like so, it's going to change my tolerance. Let's go for, let's go actually, let's just go back to uh, 30 is the standard, it's what it starts off with, it's a nice round number. Let's go back to that for a sec, so I should click off and then click back on the white area and then control D for deselect. See he's got much less of a white 
um, edge to him. Okay, um, and then layer. I want to get my lizard to arrive. So add image as layer. And there you go, it's my lizard. Open. Of course, the lizard is massive. So just zoom out for a sec. And shrink the lizard in. Like so. Okay. Right, zoom back in so we can see what's going on. Control plus to zoom back in. Um, let's go this, show this layer again. So visible. Okay. Um, and I want to get rid of the lizard. So if I draw around the lizard and delete it, so my lasso tool, and I'm going to go for the polygon lasso tool. You can use this lasso tool if you're really good with a mouse. Um, I'm using a laptop, so it's actually much easier to use this polygon tool. All right, let's draw around the lizard. still got feather switched on let me just change that to zero I'll come back to that in a minute let me show you guys what feathering means but not yet bother it okay click off and draw around the lizard once more Space to delete the lizard. Cool. Lizard has gone. Lizard has left the, bit, left the building. Right, so I've got a tail now. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I need to turn the tail around or turn the dog around. Let's turn the tail around. So, uh, edit. Free tran sorry, transform, not free transform, it's just for general rotation and things. So flip horizontal, that should get it to be the right way around. Um, and I'm going to use this rotation tool just to uh, get it pointed in about the right direction. So, onto my dog. I'm now going to use my polygon lasso tool again. And this time, I'm going to feather. So feathering is where, um, instead of having a sharp edge, or an anti-aliased edge, which is smooth-ish, um, this is going to go from the 100% um, opacity, which is the opposite to transparency. Um, so you'll see the dog. And then the dog will fade to 100% transparency. So the, the dog's body will fade out as it goes along with its length. Um, so if I just chop it off, I'm going to actually mm, feather. Start at 30, because it's a nice number to start with. I say that's a lot. And I'm just going to chop the back end of the dog off. Double click to finish. And backspace. Can you see it's got a tiny little bit of fade to it? Um, let's just zoom in to have a look. Yeah, so dog 100% opacity fading slowly over the distance of 30 pixels to 100% transparency. I want it to fade in a bit more smoothly, a bit of a bit of a bigger distance, kind of. 
Um, anyway, so Control Z is undo twice. Okay, and I'm going to go for this. Go for a hundred percent. Not not a hundred percent. Hundred pixels of feathering. So again, draw around the dog and chop its hind quarters off. Double click. Backspace. Okay, can you see it's got a uh, a bit more of a, a fade to it this time? So a, a longer fade to it. Let's just put that. Okay, that doesn't work so well. The dog is behind the tail. Let's drag that to the top of there and try again. So this time. And I move the dog over the tail. You see, it sort of fades into it more nicely. Let's just zoom in for a sec. That just looks weird. I mean, it looks good, don't get me wrong, but it. Dogs don't have lizard tails. Anyway, that's a really nice blend. It kind of blends into the texture of the tail. Right, let's zoom back out and finish up. Um, right, move the, uh, okay the tail needs to be quite a bit smaller to fit into the picture. Fit on the canvas. So, one tail, I have to shrink the dog as well. And approximately, maybe there. Beautiful. Okay, I am now going to crop my canvas. So the image doesn't have so much white space on it. So that's reducing the image size. I try to get the, um, the distance between the edge and the image about the same all the way around. That's what I aim for anyway. That'll do. Um, and also this layout there. Um, let's just drag that so it's about the same size as the canvas. It just it just feels better, you know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had <laughs> had a, a gradient fill. On the uh, on the actual shape, um, so to do that, I'm going to use my gradient tool. And when you tell it what the, what you would like the gradient to be up here, um, so let's start with that one. Click on this shape, and I'm going to go for the first color. So actually, you've got presets here. Um, you can choose any of these. Let's go for the for a crazy one to begin with. If I click at the top and drag downwards, it tells us tells uh, Pixlr how you want the uh, gradient fields to be. Um, anyway, that, that's a preset. Let me just show you the um, the way to do your own colours. Ooh, yeah, let's just undo for a sec. Okay. Start with white. Okay, so click on the first color and then click on the actual color picker. And so, similar to the original picture, I'm going to go for strong red, fading into similarly strong blue. Um, and just to show you how you can. Uh, how this uh, how you can tell it how the, how the gradient goes I went from the top down to the bottom if I go across the diagonals so start there and finish there can you see how the gradients of slightly on the diagonal control Z for a sec let's just start in the middle of the page from there to there and you can see the the uh, gradient only 
occurs across there where, where I did that dragging that line um, and outside of it is just pure colour so pure blue down there, pure red down there and then there's the uh, gradient across there right again undo and let's just do that so that's roughly how it was on the original picture okay so as always we're going to save this as a JPEG so we can actually use the image for something it's got the file name in there from where I named it before so let's save the JPEG and I can go on and use that in PowerPoints or whatever I need to do actually uh, V2 and let's go for V3 because that's so many times I've tried this so far hmm Okay, I've saved that. I'm going to save the original as well. So file save and I'm going to save the PXD and that just means that should your teacher say hmm well that's all very good and well but could you change this please it means that you can load this back into Pixlr if you need to. I mean Pixlr kind of your browser so the your browser on the computer that you created this in Pixlr kind of holds on to the, the various pictures you've created but if you then went to school or to your mate's house or whatever loaded up Pixlr it would not be there and um, so maybe you want to save this file and take it with you not take it with you put it up on the cloud that's what we do these days anyway save that so I've got the original PXD and a JPEG for use in work and things like that. Right. Save V3. Good. Savings. Splendid. Right. Tutorial over.